February 8th Thursday Luke 11:14 to 23 Divide and rule is a powerful tactic or strategy to destroy the enemy On August 15th 1947 India won independence a moment of birth that was also an abortion since freedom came with the horrors of the partition when east and west pakistan were hacked off the shoulders of india by the departing british within months india and pakistan were embroiled in a war over kashmir the consequences of which still affect us today there was an intangible partition too friendships were destroyed families ruined geography hacked history misread tradition denied minds and hearts torn apart the creation and the perpetuation of hindu muslim antagonism was the most significant accomplishment of british imperial policy the colonial project of divide at empire divide and rule fomented a religious antagonisms to facilitate continued imperial rule and reached its tragic culmination in 1947 certain and demons use this method divide and rule to stop or defeat the kingdom of god as established by jesus they will use everything to dissociate people from god and from one another they are happy seeing people fight each other even over trivial matters they will subtly tempt persons of good intention to become doubtful of themselves and to suspect one another of ill motives This will cause confusion and division. Thus the work of redemption is sadly affected. They are at work to attract people to their side and to sow wickedness everywhere. They will use anyone, wittingly or unwittingly, including church people to advance their cause who to people who allow themselves to be used by these fallen angels when we are divided we know satan is at work when people in the church are constantly opposed to each other the church will not last long However, we give thanks to God because he is stronger than any kingdom, power or authority. He will never allow Satan to triumph within his church. United we stand, divided we fall, and in union there is strength. are old maxims for the kingdom of god to be fully realized 
we need to stand united with Jesus our Lord and Savior in order to crush the effort of the enemy who wants to see us divided and fall. His name alone is powerful enough for the devil to tremble and flee. Let us stand on guard against this unity among believers. More importantly, let us always invoke the name of Jesus to cast out the demons among us and within us. Wishing you a good day, Father Paul, CSSR from Kerala.